So an example is given here. Uh, it can be, for example, a door, which can be closed and open. Um, we can rotate it around this fixed point or any kind of the objects. Um, this is the door itself and this is the hinge or it can be the pivot. So the, this actually uh, object is rotating, can be rotating around this fixed point or the pivot here. We want to gain now to find the torque of this uh, object. Um, we have applied a force on it at this angle, the angle, angle between the um, force applied here at this point and the, also the uh, ra radial vector here, if I continue the y, is the angle from here to here, not from here to here. So the angle here is 130 degree, or that theta is 130. So um, our radius is from the point that we have applied the force to the uh, pivot. So r equals 0 0.8 meters. First, we have to write uh, the information given, then we write the uh, formula which can be used to calculate the torque here, and then we do the math and find the answer. So, what is given are these things. Um, force is given, is 45 newton, and uh, that time is given to us is 130 degree and the radius is, or the distance, 0.8 meters. What is asked us to find is the torque that we don't know. The formula I write first, the torque equals to R times F times sine theta. Then I substitute inside the formula. Torque equals to R, which is 0 0.8 meters, times F. F is 45 newtons, times sine theta is 130. So if you do the mass, we find the torque as 27.6 newton meters. So the next thing, so this is the value of the torque. How much is the torque is this much newton meter? 27.6 newton meters. So if you find to find the direction, you want to find the direction of the rotation. I show, as I said, I show it by positive and minus signs. So we have to find if it is positive, I should put positive or minus here. The rotation here is positive because it is anti-clockwise. If you find here, everything is positive, and the rotation also is in a positive direction, which means positive means anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Now let's do another example. Um, at the next example, again we have this thing. Uh, now this time. Um, Okay, the applied force is 0.7 meter. Um, um, so the force which is applied this time at this point is this, uh, this direction, which is from down to up, which is upward. Um, and we are pushing up, and uh, the force is 55 newtons. Sorry. Okay, I just changed the numbers here. Um, it is, um, of course, if we turn at this direction, at this counterclockwise, and before I do the calculation, I know that uh, the sign of the torque force is uh, minor, is positive, uh, positive because it is counterclockwise. So the torque is positive again yeah, at this direction. And the next thing is that distance between the uh, point that they have the force is acted on and to the part, uh, to the pivot, which is already equal to 0 0.7 meters, and we have the an angle. This angle actually is not the angle that we want to use in the formula. It's not our theta. So the theta is the angle. I continue. If I bring the force here and this directly here. I continue. 
and put the force here. So the angle would be between this force here that I draw. I did actually the same, I just continue the force I draw here and with the same angle, the same direction. I bring it, just put it here above, and I found the angle. This is our theta. The theta should be here. So if I want to calculate the theta here, it means that if this is 180 degrees, okay, the whole thing is 180. So the theta equals to 180 minus 120, which is 60 degrees. So theta is 60 degrees. So the theta is 60, not 110. So for, um, the force also is given in 55 newtons, so you have to calculate the torque of this uh, actual force which is applied. So what I have to do first, as usual, is to write the given data. The given data of the radial, radial or the radius, the distance equals 0.7 meter. The next one which is given in the force which is applied this is 55 newtons. And we have the angle between the force and the uh, radial vector theta. It is one. It is 60 degrees. So the torque, calculate the torque of this force on the object. So the torque equals to the formula. First, we have to write is R times F times sine theta. I just substituted the data here inside it, and which is R is 0 0.7 meters times force, which is 55 newtons, times sine, 60 degree. Torque equals to, I know that it is counterclockwise, so it should be positive, isn't it? So it is anticlockwise, so I show the positive sign. No, I do the math to find the size of this torque. So if you do the math, you will find that it is the size of the torque is 33.3 newton meters. Positive 33.3 newton meters. Um, so I want to know if I apply a force 90 degrees to the lower arm, there is no angle between the force and the, um, the radial vector, what would be the torque? Actually, how we can calculate the torque? As I said, if it is um, perpendicular, perpendicular to this lower arm, like right this, it can be in any direction, like this or like this. The force which is applied is not in an angle, so you can use this formula. The torque equals to force times r or d doesn't matter. The reason is that because the um, here there is 90 degree, okay, this is the, the angle between the force and the, uh, the vector here, it is 90 degree, it means that the sine theta would be 1, so it doesn't matter because here it becomes R F times sine theta, whatever it is, um, R F times because the, um, the sine 90 is equal to 1 so it just can ignore this and just write the formula simply as f times uh, d or doesn't matter d equals to r uh, f times r because this is a short distance between the pivot and the force uh, the, uh, the point that we have acted the force upon. Um, so simply you can use this one because you understood that the sine 90 degree is 1 so you can ignore here the sine theta and uh, simply directly put the data into this formula. Uh, we have this example um, to show that simply we can use um, the rotation, I mean the torque formula uh, as force times distance. Or we can also use R times F times uh, sine theta, but also the answer would be the same. Because the force here is acting uh, perpendicular to this lever. 
and the angle here is 90 degree. So that right here is 90. So you have a force applied 90 degree on the lever arm, and there is a rotation mode to calculate the torque. You can use other of these formulas T, F times D, or you can use T, R, F, sine, theta. How can we use that? So the thing is that what is given to us is this. One is R or distance, R and distance are the same, 0 0.3 newtons. The other one is the F, which is 50 newtons. The other one, you know, theta is 90 degree. So the sine theta, which is sine 90 degree, is equal. So you can also put this or you can ignore it. So what you have to do is a torque. To find the torque in newtons, I don't know how much it is, I want to calculate. First, I use this formula, the first one, T equals to, the torque equals to F times D, torque equals to 50 times 0 0.3, which is 15 Newton meters is the answer. And it is anti-clockwise, not the counterclockwise, the force causes an anti-clockwise rotation, so it should be the next one, I put inside this formula, I just want to show you that both of the formulas can be applied here. Torque equals to R, F, sine, beta. Torque equals to R, what is R here? 0 0.3 times F, 50, times sine, theta, which is 1, isn't it? So the answer equals to positive 15 Newton. Let's see what happens to the torque or the moments when the force which is applied is right applied on the center of the rotation, the, on the axis, on the pivot. For example, here, what we have, again, the same like the door is not to push, uh, if, uh, apply the force exactly on the hinge of the door and try to open or close it. What will happen? Can you cause any, this force can cause any movement or not? Um, of course, no. Uh, based on the experience that we have done, maybe before the experiment, we could do, try to push the door on the hinge, but there is no um, change in the, uh, there is no rotation perhaps, or nothing will happen. Um, so, here, what is given to us? is the force which is applied right on the axis of the rotation. So the amount of the force, the force is 14 Newton. The next thing, ah, okay, the angle, it should be 90 degree. The time is 90 degree. And the other thing that we have uh, is a distance, or R, or distance, is equal to um, the distance here is exactly right on the axis, and we said the distance is the distance between uh, the, where the force being applied to the axis. So it is exactly right on the axis, so the distance should be zero meters or centimeter, nothing. So I write the formula now. Torque equals to, I said it's 90 degrees, so we can use both of the formulas, isn't it? It is one, or it is one, or the other one. I can use both, doesn't matter. But I just want to know, does it cause any rotation? So, torque equals to force, 40 Newton, times distance, zero, times sine theta, it is one. The torque would be 40 times 1, 40 times 0, 0. So there is no torque here. No torque. No moments. So I can conclude that if force is applied, it is applied right on axis. Axis of rotation. Torque, the torque here, 
going to be equal to zero. There won't be any rotation. Now, in this example, I have gathered all the uh, examples and put it on, uh, show you one example here so that you know how to find the torque of the multiple force forces applied uh, on a beam. Um, there are different types of forces on the, the 190 degree but away from the axis. The 190 degree but exactly on the axis. We have another torque counter or clockwise um, rotations. The other one in an angle, the other one is straight uh, 180 degree uh, to the applied to the door, to the hinge. For each of the forces, first I write what is given what is not given. Uh, are they clockwise or anti-clockwise and how I have to calculate the torque of each of the forces. The first one, so what is given here? For the first one we have F1 which is 14 newtons and then we have um, R is given, it is 0 0.2 meters. And also, theta we have, which is 90 degree. Oh, sorry, um, this one is zero. I zero meters. And this one is, theta is 90 degree. So I want to calculate the torque of the first force. Torque of the first torque of the, for the force one equals to RF sine theta. Um, torque one equals to R is zero times force is 40 and sine theta which is 1 so the torque of the first force equals to 0 meters so this one is 0 as I said uh, any force acting on the hinge or on the pivot on the center of the rotation will not cause any rotation so that's why here the moments or the torque here will be zero for the first one. For the second one, now we want to calculate the torque of the second force. F2, so this one is done already. So the second one, force 2, it is 15 newtons. And what else do is given is a distance between this force and the uh, pivot here. So uh, the distance or r equals to 0 0.2 meters and of course the theta again is 90 degree um, so i easily can write like this torque of the second force r times f i can i can write sign then it should not doesn't matter because the answer of this one is one so it has no effect in our calculations t2 equals to uh, okay, the force, which is 15, um, first I write the R first, and 0 0.2 times, uh, sorry, times 50 times 1. So the answer here, T2 equals to, should be 10 newtons, newton meters, 10 newton meters. So answer is 10 newton meters. I, I just clean this second zero and the uh, decimal so you won't uh, be confused. So this one is 10 newton meters. So there is rotation. What um, um which direction is it counter clockwise or is it clockwise rotation? First look at it. So if you force the beam uh, upward and this direction it moves around this direction anti-clockwise, so it means that the uh, sign should be positive because this upward or this counter uh, anti clockwise rotations. Um, the third one, third force, the torque of the third force, it means I have to write R3 uh, three sign theta of the third force. The torque of the third force equals to I don't write what is given because now I think you have understood very well. Uh, um, so I want to save some space for the rest of the calculations. 
So here we have F3. R3. R3 is not 0 0.4. It's this one plus this one because it's a distance from the vertical applied force to the pivot. So it means that 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 becomes 0 0.6 meters. 0 0.6 times F3 is how much? 60 newtons times sine theta again, 1, because it is sine 90 degree. So T3 for the torque equals to 36 newton meters, and it is anticlockwise or clockwise. It is downward, so it causing a uh, clockwise rotation, so it is negative. The sign is that because it's clockwise. Clockwise rotation. So the torque for the fifth force is the radial, the radial vector from the force to the um, axis is uh, times force times sine theta for the fifth force. For here, for the fifth force, the angle here, the theta is 180 degrees, is not zero. It's for, if I extend the lever arm here, or the um, here, the the lever arm here, you have the, uh, the angle which is made between this lever, the extension, the extension of the lever arm to the force itself it is 180 degrees. So I just substitute now inside the formula the torque of the fifth force, the force is 15 newtons times R5 is the same as the previous one, the force the force force is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 becomes 0 0.9. 0 0.9 times sine 180 degree. The fifth force. If you do the math, you will get the value. You can do the math. Use your own calculator. The sine, the sine 180 is equal to 0. So the answer of this torque, the answer, the value is 0. Newton meters. So we have two, two forces that cause no rotation. One this force is 180 degree, and the other one which is not about exactly on the axis. These two forces they have no uh, cause no rotations. Now, how should I gain the sum of the torques, the total moments? What you have to do, you have to. Uh, calculate this, some of the forces. We have to add all of them together and to find the answer. Total torque equals to 0, the first one, plus 10, plus, plus, minus 36, and plus positive 23, and plus 0. It is equals to, it becomes total torque equals to 0 plus 10 minus 36 plus 23 plus 0 equals to the answer is 3 newton meters but is it counterclockwise or clockwise rotation? I can find it from here it is so because it becomes minus 36 okay and here the sum of these two becomes 33 okay so this one is bigger so the answer will be minus we said that the minus means clockwise rotation so it will the value of the torque will be 3 newtons meter and the direction will be clockwise rotation it means that all these forces cause the beam to rotate clockwise and the rotation will be 3 newtons per 3 newtons meter. So at this uh, session we understood that uh, the forces that are applied on a beam that is placed on a fixed point and they can cause a rotation clockwise or anticlockwise, we call it as a torque or uh, moments. Um, but sometimes uh, if the forces are balanced at the both sides, the clockwise and anticlockwise moments are balanced, there won't be any torque or rotation. So uh, in order to find the values, you can just uh, say that the uh, force times distance 
forward in the sum of the force time distance or uh, clockwise rotation would be equal to the uh, force time distance of the all counterclockwise rotation of the other side. And if the force is um, uh, is um, exactly on the uh, hinge or on the uh, pivot or on the axis of rotation, there would be uh, actually uh, no rotation, or it is, if it is uh, 180 degree to the lever also, it won't have, be, have any question, uh, any rotation, sorry. And uh, the next thing is that uh, we can also calculate the moments uh, by using this formula, which is uh, uh, the radial vector times uh, force times uh, uh, sine theta. Uh, theta is a, um, uh, the uh, angle between the force and the radial vector. Um, and also, if the uh, some of the the, 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 net, the net moments is not actually zero, is greater than the zero, it means that there will, there will be a rotation and the forces uh, of the anti-clockwise and uh, clockwise rotation won't be actually equal to zero. So, uh, so there is a rotation. The anti-clockwise rotation or value is considered as positive, and uh, all the uh, clockwise rotation are considered as negative values.